I speak to your lab manager or your director of research, please? Thank you. Here's the south side of the building uh, where we find the receiving entrance, the loading bay. The question is whether this is the receiving entrance also for the animals coming in and out of the center. Um, so, I, I was hoping to get a little bit of very basic information from sick kids on uh, vivisection. Okay. So, um, my understanding is that this is the building where the animal labs are, not the main, the main campus. Correct. Yeah. So, is, is sick kids willing to provide just basic statistical information to the public, like uh, annual numbers of animals used, uh, types of animals. I know you use zebrafish, it's on the poster outside. And then some, some non-numerical basic information like the form of euthanasia you use on the animals, like whether you use gas chambers here at sick kids or you use decapitation. Well, I've just been escorted by three security guards from the Peter Gilgan Center for Research and Learning at Sick Kids Hospital downtown Toronto. Um, they wouldn't give me any information. Uh, they asked me to submit a request through official channels for information on vivisection. And children have a natural affinity with animals. Now I know camera crews who've been in here to do PR work for sick kids and they were explicitly told to keep the cameras away from the animal laboratories which indicates to me that sick kids, from a PR perspective, understands that this is a pretty sensitive issue, that children will be upset if they see what's happening to rats and rabbits here, mice. Peter Gilgan Center is connected to the Elizabeth McMaster building. So this huge complex spanning two full city blocks is sick kids, in one entrance, uh, human children come in, and they're, from what I hear, uh, given excellent care by the doctors and staff. And they're usually brought in by parents or guardians who care about them. And then there's another entrance, we possibly saw it back there at the Peter Gilgan Center, where non-human juveniles mostly are brought in. They're brought in cages and boxes. and. Um, They've been actually kidnapped. They've been taken from their family and their um, warren. And instead of trying to heal them, the doctors actually intentionally make them sick. Instead of reducing their tumors, they give them tumors or try out a new cure on them. But in any case, when they're done with those non-human juveniles, the researchers here at Sick Kids kill them whether by gas chamber or decapitation with surgical scissors or induced heart attack by intracardial injection. Uh, these are things sick kids maybe could let us know.